Hi, uh, I'm on video chat with Hong Bin. Uh, Hong Bin, can you please uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and your OpenStack background? Yeah, sure. So uh, my name is Hong Bin Lu. I'm the project team lead for Magnum in the Newton release cycle. And I work for Huawei Technologies in Canada. I'm currently the software engineer. And yeah, that's about me. Fantastic. Uh, can you tell a little bit about your project, Magnum, and what it does? Yeah, sure. So Magnum is the uh, open set container infrastructure management service. Uh, it was created to bring the popular container technology to OpenStack. And in general, Magnum is provides three kind of features, which I summarize as the provisioning and configuration and the management. Hmm. And for the provisioning, it provides a service to provision the different container orchestration engines, which is referred as the COEs. And right now, the supporting COE is Kubernetes, Docker Swarm, and Apache Mesos. And for the configurations, so it provides a cell option for the user to configure the COEs. And Kubernetes, for example, is support to configure it in a HA manner. And it has an option to configure it to, for the different networking uh, options. And it can configure it for using the different storage options. And there's many more features. And uh, for the management, it basically provides a service to manage the infrastructure to run the COEs. So uh, for example, you can use the Magnum API to add and remove uh, NOAA instance to the Kubernetes clusters so that the, the capability of the cluster can scale up and scale up at uh, one time. And that's it for the Magnum in general. Fantastic. Thank you for that overview. Uh, good next question is, wh what, are, what are some of the hot topics for your team at the Austin Design Summit? And what were some of the decisions and outcomes that came up from these discussions? Yeah, so in the Design Summit, one of the hot topics is to discuss the uh, if Magnum should manage the containers or the Magnum should focus on manager container infrastructures. And so a point of view is that Magnum should manage the container as well. And because Magnum is originally the OpenStack container service. And another point of view is the Magnum should focus on manager container infrastructure, not the containers. And this is this 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 is the uh, very 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 popular topic, very hot topics. And we have a discussion. And finally, we decide that the Magnum should focus on the managed container infrastructures. And for the management of the containers, we will create a new project uh, to do the, this job. And Magnum is focused on the infrastructure use case. And yeah, that's it for the hot topic. Fantastic. So during uh, Newton planning, what did you okay. identify as user needs or problems that you're trying to solve in general? Yeah, so in the Newton, in the, in the last cycle, and we identify a problem that is the, about the, the, uh, the, the, what is blocking the adoption of the magnums. And due to the feedback is Turn out that the hard dependency on other open stack services such as Barbican is the is the focus for the Magnum adoption. And that is because most of the use our users is willing to install Magnum, but they don't want to install Magnum and other new open stack services and such as Barbican. And this is the feedback we are getting. So we are planning a solution then which is implement an uh, Barbican alternative. Mm -hmm. That is doing 
the same function in the less secure manners. And for Barbican, it's more secure, but it's hard to configure. And so after this implementation, the user need to choose uh, which option they should use based on their requirements. And but yeah, this this will address the hard dependencies of the magnums. Okay, fantastic. And what are the top three priorities for new features or enhancements? Yeah. So uh, the first uh, the first feature is the container networks. Um, so in the in this cycle, we are going to work with the curry teams to build a neutron to to build a neutron integration to connect the container to the neutrons, and this will greatly improve the the level of the containers. Mm -hmm. And the second feature is the ironic integrations, and that is because uh, most of the users is very interesting to run the container is bare metals and not the VMs. So uh, around integration is very important. And the last one is the expandable architectures. So we are going to we decide kind of refine the architecture of the magnum to make it more portable, so that the vendors can plug in their own distribution or customization of the Kubernetes and to magnums. And that's the top priority in the magnum. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, only a couple more uh, questions that I have. Uh, one is around themes. So if, if you were to think about themes as scalability, resiliency, manageability, modularity, interoperability. So if you were to think of these five themes, what is the key theme or maybe more than one theme that your project aims to achieve with Newton timeframe? Uh, I think a theme we need to focus is the inter interoperabilities. Okay. So uh, most of the users is interesting in tie integrations uh, between the te container technologies and the uh, open stack. So interoperability is the is a theme that we are going to focus on, and maybe another one is the modularity, and that is because the vendor want to extend the magnum to to or, or they sh I should say they want to customize the deployment of the Kubernetes or Docker Swarm or other COEs. So the modularity and extendability is also very important. Fantastic. Thank you. So interoperability and modularity uh, as the top yeah. themes for uh, Magnum and Newton timeframe. Um, and then just a last follow up would be what theme or themes do you project um, will be the priority for Okata timeframe for Magnum? Uh, is it going to be the same uh, or uh, is there going to be a shift in what will be needed? Right now, I think it's the same. Uh, yeah, but I don't know too much about the futures and <laughs> yes, yeah. it, it is more uh, a, a guesswork, right? Um, so you're saying most likely it'll be the same themes that will carry yeah. forward in Okata timeframe. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much.